Hi everyone, welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are going to be making the most delicious flourless brownie cookies. They are so wonderful, easy to make, perfect for the holidays or anytime you crave a delicious chocolate cookie. They have the texture of a brownie, but they are fudgy and chewy and soft. They are wonderful and, and now I'm going to show you how to make them. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with the recipe. In a nice clean bowl, we are going to add in our softened butter at room temperature, must be soft. And we are also going to add in our sugar, okay? And we are going to whisk these ingredients with a hand mixer until we have a nice creamy mixture. Now you want to add in your eggs, give your ingredients a good whisk, make sure everything is nicely combined together. Okay, so we have our butter, eggs, and our sugar well mixed here. Don't overmix once you've added in your eggs. Just give your butter and sugar a good mix, probably two to three minutes, then add in your eggs, and then the remaining ingredients as I show you as we go along. Now we have our chocolate chips here. We're going to melt them in our microwave. So you want to make sure you already have this done when you're about to start your cookies. And then I will show you the next step. Okay, so our mixture looks perfect as you can see. Now, before adding in your chocolate, once you've melted it, just let it sit at room temperature for about five minutes and then add it into your butter, eggs, and sugar mixture. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add in some vanilla extract, okay? And we're going to whisk again just for a few seconds. Okay, so before we add in our dry ingredients, which is our unsweetened cocoa powder and our salt, I'm just going to clean the sides of my bowl here. Now we will add our unsweetened cocoa powder, and our salt, okay? And now give your ingredients another good whisk. Okay, so your dough should be like a very thick cake batter. If you find that it's still a little bit soft, just put it in the fridge for around 15 to 20 minutes, cover it with some plastic wrap, and then take it out and then bake your cookies. So for now, my batter looks pretty good to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an ice cream scoop and I'm going to place some scoopfuls onto a cookie tray that has been lined with some parchment paper. And then we are going to bake our cookies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about eight to 10 minutes. You'll notice that the outer part of the cookie will start to firm up and the inside will be nice and soft. I'll show you what they look like when they're done and how long mine were in the oven for. Okay, so my cookies are here on the cookie sheet. They baked for exactly 10 minutes. Now you want to make sure that you allow them to stay on the pan, so on your cookie sheet, for five to seven minutes before removing them because they're very delicate and they might start to break on you. Now you want to allow them to cool completely on your cookie sheet and then you are ready to serve and to store in your food safe containers. Okay, so our cookies are cooled. Now let me show you what they look like up close. They are perfection, they are so soft, and the inside of the cookie has a perfect texture of a brownie. So let me break it here in the middle for you. If you can see, they are soft and chewy. They are just perfection. So just keep in mind that if you make a smaller cookie, it'll take less time. If you make a larger, it'll take more. So you will notice it will start to puff up and look gorgeous, and then they will start to deflate, which is completely normal. They are wonderful, easy to make, and they are over the top perfection for this time of year. And you can actually make these any time of year, anytime you want. And uh, I really suggest you guys give these a try. You are going to love them. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to look us up on TikTok or Instagram, the links will be in the description box below along with the recipe. And 
if you want any of our baking products or any of our spatulas, bakeware, anything that you see in any of our videos, make sure you look up our Amazon storefront link, which will also be in the description box as well. And that's pretty much it. I hope you give these a try and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.